hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me once again in today's video i'm so sorry that i've been absent here lately this is my final year in college so everything is actually very busy it's as if everything is happening so fast and i can't even keep up with the time so as you can see i'm back to my hotel yes i want to apologize for the background noise i get this from people a lot and i would love to tell you what it is whenever i retouch my hair with relaxer and i leave my head down you know how beautiful it looks they are very long and full people always tell me that oh my if i have your hair i'm not going to do anything to my hair i'm just going to leave it like that i'm going to flaunt it for the world to see it and in my mind i keep screaming break it break it your hair is going to break if you don't put your hair in protective style i mean we are african so we are not white white people are the ones that are known to actually leave their hair like that and nothing happens i think that is a video for another day but the fact that we are africans there's a lot of uh, a lot of measures that we have to take to make sure that we actually get that healthy hair i mean who says a black woman cannot grow her hair long who said that who who who, who said that so today i'm going to be talking to you about protective styling now if you have been if you are a youtube fan someone that actually follow a lot of hair content like myself yes you will actually get to have heard this from people a lot that um you will actually have heard this a lot from people when they tell you about their hair growth journey like how they get their hair to that length that we all admire so people will attribute it to the cream they use like a, a particular product that they have used in their hair for so many years and through the product they have seen a lot of changes in their hair why some people will attribute it to a particular hairstyle that they have made um repeatedly and at the end of the day they see a lot of length changes in their hair and some of us also believe that it's genetics that none of those things are true that it's just in genetics but the truth of the matter is genetics yes is one of the um Thing that causes a lot of differences in our hair the fact that my hair is thick and another person's hair will be light does not mean that the person's hair cannot grow longer than mine and that is where the genetics um genetics help in hair growth actually ends genetics does not determine how long your hair gets but genetics can determine how fast your hair grows you see the difference so your hair can still grow very slowly and at the end of the day you get to have a very long hair a very long hair because you have personally decided that you actually want to have a long hair so having a long hair is a kind of a personal decision it has nothing to do with genetics today i'll be talking to us about protective styling because i've gotten this from a lot of people they're always like maggie what's the best protective styling can you give us another one we don't want natural mini braids i always give you natural mini braids as the hairstyle that has made my hair to grow because personally that is what i have used to grow my hair over the years but there are people here on youtube that will also tell you that they, they are able to like grow their hair to a certain length because they were making use of sewing that is wigs and all some people will tell you that it's actually um braiding with attachment that help them to grow their hair before i dive into what the best protective style is I would love to like make us understand the word protective styling. Protective styling is just a style that helps you to like, that helps you to tuck your hair away. Something that helps you. Protective styling is a style that is any style that helps you to tuck your hair away for about a month to two months. It's something that helps you to take your hands off your hair and allow your hair to rest. So the period where your hair is in a protective styling is a period where your hair is resting. Resting in the, in the sense that it's actually growing and there is no need for combing, there's no need for restyling, there's no need to take it down because you actually want that period to just be a period of growing and nothing but growing. So now the question is, how do you know that style that you are often in is actually growing or protecting your hair? There are just few ways for you to find out. The first thing is, it's very easy for you to install. If the style is very easy to install, like you don't spend about six, seven, eight, nine hours, or even a whole day installing it, that means it's in protective style. Your hair is in a protective style when you are able to maintain it in a protective style. That is, you can wash your hair 
you can moisturize your hair you can deep condition you can steam your hair you can oil your scalp in that style that is how you know it's a protective style the moment you are able to apply all these products to your hair probably every two weeks and it's going direct like 90 percent of it goes directly to your natural hair and not to the extension and this is why i also advise most times that the best protective styling it might not actually be in, in form of mini braids it can be a twist out it can be in form of natural weaving the best protective styling is actually which is actually a style that you do with your natural hair here is the reason why let's assume my hair is in braids right now yes it's actually in braids and this is with attachment i did this hair with attachment you get to know that you get to find out that when i'm applying my leave-in conditioner or when i want to steam my hair the product that i'm actually applying to it is going to the attachment not directly to my hair so my hair will actually likely receive about 10 percent of this product that, and the extension which i tucked my hair into will be getting about 90 percent of this product that's why it's actually advisable that you make your hair at least 90 percent of the time try to make your hair with your natural hair it's actually very helpful and it improves the rate at which your hair goes and it helps you to also reduce breakage and maintain your natural hair another thing to make you know that the style you are in is a protective style is the fact that it's very easy for you to take down that it does not require too much stress for you to take it down it's just something that you can easily take down on your own that is how you know your hair is protective your hair is is protectively styled the last tip to know that your hair is protectively styled is the fact that when you take it down there is a lot of there is, there is a lot of improvement in your hair you can see your hair getting longer than it used to the fact that when you take it down you can see a lot of length changes in your hair that is how you know your hair is protectively styled but because we are actually different i can tell you that i've used mini braids to grow my hair over the years but i cannot suggest that to you because it doesn't work for everyone some, some there are some people that actually use um so in to grow their hair so in in form of a um, wig in form of um weave on like they they weave their hair and then they use a needle and thread and attach this weave on to it that is the sew in some people use sew in to grow their hair some people use braids even with extension i've seen someone that actually makes braids with extension with her hair and it grows her hair a lot the gist here is just for you to figure out that style that works for you what is the style that you think that when you take down there's actually a lot of differences like positive changes in your hair they really advise you to that you go back to make that style if not often at least if you can make that style about 80 percent of the time you are going to see even more changes in your hair so that's actually what protective styling is i'm not actually coming here to tell you this is the best style that is the best style i'm only going to tell you that do what works for you as long as it doesn't damage your hair as long as you can see a lot of differences when it's done just do what works for you but make sure that you are putting your hair in a protective style and don't forget the tips that make a protective style a protective style so guys so we meet again don't forget to love your hair cherish your crown care for your crown see you in my next video Bye bye